Blow, BJ, blow. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah, that's it, that's it. It's really getting big. <sighs> oh, yeah, that's it. Keep blowing. Blow, girl, blow. That's it. Keep Whoa. blowing. Oh, it's getting so big. Oh, excellent, BJ. Ha, <laughs> ha. You see, gang, if I were drowning right now, my balls would save my life. But wouldn't someone else have to be there to blow into your shorts? Only if the ripcord fails. Watch. Well, now I feel right at home. So, BJ, you actually designed these devices? Yep, I did it for my science project. See, I take night classes at Kelty Grammar School. Uh -huh. And now our little BJ's gonna show off her life breath at the International Flotation Convention in Bermuda. And she's flying there courtesy of Notch Johnson Airways. So, Notch, when will we be landing? Excuse me, BJ. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We should be landing shortly at JFK Jr. International Airport. But in the meantime, sit back, relax, and enjoy our in-flight movie. Dude, where's my car? <gasps> what was that? I don't know. <gasps> I can't get up! <gasps> Prepare for crash landing! Okay. <gasps> PJ, my life balls won't drop! But you'll have to inflate yourself! <sighs> I once sprained my neck trying to do this when I was 14! Son of the Beach, starring Jamie Bergman as B.J. Cummings, Roland Kickinger as Chip Rommel, Lila Arzieri as Jamaica St. Croix, Kim Oya as Kimberly Clark, Michael Berenson as Lieutenant Steve Andrews, even more starring Lisa Baines as Mayor Anita Massengill, and starring most of all, Timothy Stack as Knox Johnson. Special guest star, John O'Hurley. Tonight's episode, The Island of Dr. Merlot. This is your anchorman with continuing live coverage of day four, America Without Johnson. The memorial service is about to begin for the late Notch Johnson and the very hot but dead B.J. Cummings. As you can see, the chapel is filled with dignitaries. There's Richard Nixon, FDR, and Winston Churchill, and there's Elton John in a beautiful Yves Saint Laurent gown. Mayor Anita Massengill is about to speak. First, to memorialize B.J. Cummings, we're placing her bust in town hall. <laughs> You know, I could say many great things about Notch Johnson, but a funeral is hardly the place for that. <laughs> now, I'd like to introduce Notch's favorite friend and appliance, Professor Ahmed Duke Milosevic. I admire Notch Johnson for his kindness, his compassion, and his ability to urinate while standing up, weeping, weeping, sniffle, fart, Excuse me, I am malfunctioning. Fart, 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 fart. And now, Miss Kimberly Clark. Notch, if you can hear me, I will always love, uh, like you. <laughs> why, Lord, why? I can't believe he's gone. Praise Jesus, yes, sir. I refuse to believe he's gone. I mean, we never recovered the body, and, and Notch Johnson has cheated death a thousand times. Why not this time? Miss Clark, you are out of order. I'm out of order. You're out of order. This whole funeral's out of order. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah, amen. Testify, my sister. Testify. <laughs> my Lord loves me, yes, he does. My Lord loves me, yes, he does. I can't believe we're macarooned on a desert island. The important thing is, uh, we're survivors. That gives me an idea. You vote me off the island, then I'll send back for a rescue boat. BJ, are you insane? There's no way I'm voting you off. You're much too valuable here. Yeah, what was I thinking? I'm hungry. Tell you what, I'm gonna build us some shelter. You go look for something to eat in the bush. Okay. I wish BJ would come back. She's only been gone 10 minutes, but I'm getting lonely. Hey, I'll talk to these. Hi, fellas. Oh, hold on, hold on. One at a time, all right? Okay, okay, you go first. Hey, Notch. Oh, hi, BJ. So what'd you pull out of the bush? Dingleberries. Ooh. Dingley. Hey, guys, 
I'm sorry if I made a scene at the funeral. It's just I have this gut feeling that Notch isn't dead. You know, a lot of my relatives were thought to be dead, but they were actually in Argentina living under assumed names. If only I could get my hands on that black box. Say what? Yoo-hoo, everyone! I have incredible news. They found they Notch and BJ? BJ? Oh, God, no. I've already decided who Notch's replacement is. Meet your new boss. Cody is the new chief? Don't call me chief. Call me... Rear Admiral. BJ, I know you're a virgin. But since we may never be saved, we need to continue our race. So I'll need to seed your fertile womb with my sperm. Okay. I'm gonna lift my shirt. That will get your natural juices going. Okay. Ah. <gasps> BJ, we're saved! <laughs> halt! You are on private property. No, no, ladies. There's no reason to be so inhospitable to our guests. Please forgive the overzealousness of my associates. I'm Dr. Melo. Welcome to my island. The island of Dr. Merlo. More Merlot, Mr. Johnson. No thanks, Dr. Merlo. I had my fill with the pheasant Merlot sauce, the Merlot mashed potatoes, and the Merlot jello. Nonsense. There's always room for Merlo. Here, Miss Cummings, taste this. Sure. I like tasting things. When you taste the wine, you're supposed to spit it out. Call me crazy, but I like to swallow. Ladies, let me formally introduce you all. Cabernet, Beaujolais, and Ripple. Boy, Mr. Dr. Malo, seems like wine is your life's motif, or raison d'etre, if you will. Oops. Must be the wine talking. Normally, I'm not too bright. I grew up in a California wine country. My family was so poor that we couldn't afford to drink wine. We had to settle for feeding each other grapes. Feeding each other grapes? What would that be like? Boy, even thinking about that makes my veins purple. But, uh, Dr. Merlot, uh, since our plane crashed, we... You want to go home. Well, unfortunately, the only way off the island would be the supply boat, and that will be back for a couple of days. Oh, well, well, that's no problem. We could easily call. No, alas, there is no means of communication with the outside world. You see, I'm what is known as an eccentric. Uh, that means he's an idiosyncratic character who refuses to conform. <gasps> I really gotta lay off the booze. Good morning, workers. It's time to get started in all the changes I'm gonna make. <coughs> changes? Good question, homegirl. From now on, you ladies will wear new uniforms. Big, tacky sweatsuits. They'll be perfect for your new job. Scrubbing floors. No, 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 no. You're having them scrub floors? Yes, but not you, honey. You're gonna be my new personal assistant. And here's your new uniform. I slap like a pussycat. How about you, Notch? Well, the room is really comfortable, but it's kind of hard to wash your face with hot and cold running Merlot. Whoa! Wow. Boy, Dr. Merlot sure gets lots of heads. Yeah, look. Hey, that's Joey Buttafuoco from TV's The Amy Fisher Story. I wondered what happened to him. We should get out of here. Well, aren't we up early this morning? I see you two have stumbled upon my little museum. Cody, are you sure these guys have what it takes? All they do is stand there and stare at me. I know they seem quiet now, but trust me, they're screamers. I refuse to work with them. Okay, Chip. Now I have to discipline you. It's either garbage patrol or feel the wrath of my whip. Oh. 
I can't take this lying down. I gotta see if Notch is still alive. But Notch is going to shake the hand of Jesus. I really feel as though I owe you two an explanation. I used to be an avid big game hunter, but um, you get a little bored. So now I yearn to hunt an animal that can think. Like a giraffe? No, BJ. He means a moose. No, I mean a human being. <gasps> Why do you think I shot your plane down? You see those two plaques on the wall? Those are meant for you. Now. Are you game? <laughs> now, here are the rules of the game. I give you a two-hour head start. And if I find you, I kill you. <laughs> now, is there anything else I failed to mention? Oh, yes! Run! <laughs> I love this game. Mayor, Cody, do you think this new crew can fill the sandals of the old SPF 30? It's funny. The whole time Notch Johnson was here, I never once saw him go into the water. Oh, God. What do I do? Oh, you're supposed to save her. Oh, right. No! Places, everyone. It's showtime. Go, go. Get in there. No! Um, are you sure this is going to work? I mean, Chip is just right down the beach. Don't bother me, Mother. I'm in charge now. Now, butt out. Cody, darling, give her mouth to mouth. Now! Oh, my God, I'm gonna puke. <laughs> Chip! Save her! Make way, sissy man. got some explaining to do. Jamaica! Oh, I told you we shouldn't give up. I put Professor Milosevic on the job, and he's come up with some evidence that Notch and BJ might still be alive. Oh. I picked something up on my satellite. Kimberly, plug me into the TV. My cable is under the seat. Okay. That's it, baby. Ha, ha, ha. Just kidding. Yo, I'd recognize those big balloons anywhere. They're BJ's. Actually, the gas in those devices has expanded due to intense sunlight. That's definitely a signal that Notch and BJ are alive. Ow! BJ! No, BJ, you go on. I'll just gnaw my foot off like they do on the Discovery Channel. Oh, that was going to be plan B. Come on. Okay, I wonder why there's gunfire. This must be the south central side of the island. Well, there aren't any traps here. Yeah, I think we lost them. Maybe Merlot gave up. Oh, I think we're too smart for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Help! Quick, Dan! Did I fail to mention to our two friends about the quicksand? <clears throat> Hold it. I am picking up BJ's voice. My OnStar system tells me that she is in quicksand territory. The area is full of quicksand. Sending men in there would be a suicide mission. Sorry, we did our best. True. No, no, wait, wait. I mean, you just gonna let them die? It's over, Kimberly. Over. Not so fast, Navy boy. I guess you've never dealt with Duke Milosevic, the human hummingbird.
I guess this is it, not. Give me your head, BJ. I want to give you a kiss. Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Professor Milosevic. <laughs> Professor, send down the rope. Uh, yes. Greetings. I hadn't heard from you in a while, so I thought I'd drop you a line. Titter, titter. Here we go. <laughs> Thanks, gang. Now say hello and goodbye to the evil Dr. Merlot. He likes wine tasting, long walks on the beach, and hunting humans for kicks. I should have killed you when I had the chance, Johnson. Oh, come on, Mr. Dr. Merlot. Why the sour grapes? Yeah, after all, you will be stored in a cool, dark place. And by the time you get out of jail, you'll be well-aged. Well, one thing's for sure. In prison, you're gonna get corked. No! No, don't let them cork me! <laughs> 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 Cody, your shameful display of lifeguarding nearly cost me. You and your crew are fired. But, Mother, that's not fair! <laughs> oh, darling, don't cry. You know I can't stand it when you cry. Two tickets to tonight's showing a boylesque. Who wants the other one? <laughs> But for Mayor, who is going to be the new head lifeguard now? I am! Johnson, you're alive! Thanks to my humongous flotation device. And Professor Milosevic. Hey, where is the professor? I hear he's got a new job. <gasps> There's a four-car pileup on the southbound San Diego freeway. Take surface streets to save yourself some time. Back to you, Lou. Oh, hi, teens. Not Johnson here. Tonight's show is a very special episode. It dealt with the complexities of the mother-son relationship. It was especially difficult on me because, as you know, I had no mother. She died during conception. So I missed out on those special moments with Mom. No time at the playground, no time in the kiddie pool, and no time laying on her chest, suckling yummy mommy milk from her swollen orbs. Well, that's why the folks at Knott's Johnson Laboratories developed the Big Nip. You can use the Big Nip for drinking milk or any beverage, even a cold, frosty soda pop. Tastes like cola, feels like mom. So until next time, this is Knott's Johnson saying, ride the big one.